Today, I'm making Wemby, LeBron, and Curry teammates, and we're going to be simulating their career as a trio to see how many championships they can win together. We're starting this off in the 2003 offseason, and whatever team lands the number one overall pick in the draft lottery will get to add all three of these players. That makes this the most important draft lottery in NBA history, and it's going to be the Milwaukee Bucks landing the number one overall pick congratulations milwaukee you all are getting the greatest big three in nba history this bucks roster that wemby lebron and curry just joined is absolutely ridiculous they've got ray allen michael red sam cassell tim thomas and that might make it a little bit difficult for LeBron and Curry to get minutes in their rookie seasons. We'll have to see what coach is thinking in terms of the lineups. But before we even check those out, the Bucks got Wemby wearing a football number. Number 40 is crazy. Number one is retired by Milwaukee. So I'm going to throw number 11 on Wemby. I think that looks pretty tough. And now let's check out these rotations. See what coach is thinking. I'm hoping LeBron, Curry, and Wemby are all starting year one. But if they don't start in the first year, trust me, they'll be starting in year two for sure. They're going to bring LeBron and Curry off the bench in year one. Wemby's in the starting five, but overall, this team is absolutely stacked. I could see a world where we win a championship in this first season. Season number one has been absolutely incredible. We end up winning 66 games. Who y'all got winning rookie of the year? It's got to be Wemby, right? Because he was starting. Yeah, he wins it averaging 18, 13, and 4. He averaged 4 blocks? I was talking about 4 assists, but he averaged 4 blocks. Also, we're not going to ignore this crazy stat line from Kobe Bryant on the Lakers. LeBron was 6th man of the year. He averaged 16, 5, and 5. That bench unit with LeBron and Curry was probably absolutely diabolical. And then Wemby wins DPOY. I mean, yeah, he averaged 4 blocks. And George Carl, the coach of your Milwaukee Bucks, was named coach of the year. Wembenyama, All-NBA second team. There's LeBron on all-rookie first. No way Curry didn't make all-rookie second. Are you kidding me? What happened to Steph? He only averaged 13 and 5. We got to get him out of this bench role ASAP because clearly it's not the role for him. Numbers are not good because he's just not playing enough minutes. But in the meantime, we're here in the playoffs with a chance to win a title. In the first round, we'll be taking on a mediocre New Orleans Hornets team. Very winnable series for us. And we beat them in five. Round two, it'll be the Chicago Bulls. Oh yeah, another very winnable series for your Bucks. We sweep them. Conference finals, we got the Magic, led by McGrady. Now, unfortunately for them, the supporting cast around McGrady is not good at all. But you got to watch out for T-Mac. I bet he's averaging like 40 in the playoffs. Okay, 33 is still pretty crazy. Game one of the series will go to us. Game two also goes to us. We're up 3-0. They'll win game four and five. Okay, we're going to jump in the Simcast here for game six because... Things are getting interesting, but it looks like we are going to close this one out in six games. LeBron, 22 off the bench. James is embracing his role as the sixth man, and he's playing very well in that role. Wembenyama's been averaging 16 and 14 in the playoffs with almost five blocks. As for Steph Curry, four points. And in the NBA Finals, we got the San Antonio Spurs. They've got an old D-Rob. They, of course, have Tim Duncan. They picked up Rip Hamilton over the offseason. Plus, they've got Tony. Parker this is a great squad I mean there's a reason they were number one in the west game one of the series will go to them but we manage a game two win they'll take game three by 20 points and they win game four but we'll take game five okay we could potentially make a 3-1 comeback here but the Spurs they're a well-oiled machine with Greg Popovich I don't feel like they're the type of team to blow a 3-1 but maybe I'm wrong because we could force seven right here 28 seconds left we're up by two and check it out, Steph's in the game, Wemby's in the game, LeBron's in the game, okay? We got the young guys closing this one out. Spurs have the ball right now, down by two points. They need a bucket, come on, Steph. Lock up Tony Parker right here. Parker's taking his time. He's wasting a lot of clock right now. Now, if the Spurs go for a three, they could take the lead in this one. Parker will get the screen from Duncan. Tony, not much time left. Gonna fake, go up with the layup and get it to go off the glass. Tie ball game, 4.1 left. 
Coming out of the timeout, we're going to have a lot of great players we could go to. You could go to Ray Allen, Curry, Wemby, LeBron. I mean, so many players who could get us a bucket right here. Oh, man, they subbed out Bron and Curry. It's going to be Thomas inbounding the ball. It'll go into Red. Michael Red at the foul line. Going to fake flow one up and miss. We should have got Wemby a post touch. Nobody's going to be able to hold Wemby in the post. We should have gone to him, bro. But instead, we got overtime. More basketball on the way. And in OT, this one's still close. Minute four left. Currently, we're up by one and we have the ball. LeBron is in the game. Curry is not. Wembenyama is also still checked in. James at the free throw line will get the screen from Wembenyama. LeBron going to get Bowen the jump, to, uh, the bump, take the mid range and miss it. Now the Spurs will give it to Tony Parker, who had that clutch bucket in regulation. He gives it up to Bruce Bowen. Bowen has room from three. He misses it, and we're able to secure the rebound. Ball will go up to LeBron James. James does not have numbers, but he's still going to attack. He fakes. LeBron kind of trap finds Wemby for a dunk. See, that's free ease for Wembenyama. Just look for him in the post. We're up by three. 30.8 left. Whatever we do, do not let San Antonio hit a three ball right here. Bruce Bowen will give it into Parker, and there's another timeout. These Bucks jerseys are tough. The throwback Bucks jerseys. Some of the old NBA uniforms were just so good. Like these purple Bucks ones. Oh my goodness. Bowen will give it into D Rob. D Rob back to Bowen to Duncan to Parker. Parker gets the screen from Duncan. Tony goes downhill and is rejected by Wemby. That man's been averaging five blocks in the playoffs. Don't try to go up over him. And now Cassell's going to the line. First one is Cash. And it's looking like we got this game in the back. Golly, 17%, three points. Second free throw for Gasell is good. And we're up by five. I think the Spurs don't even have any timeouts left. Parker's going to bring it up. He's taking his time for whatever reason. Oh, now he's going to let it fly. Bro, turn off the Zen, Tony. You're going to get banned. All right, Michael Red's going to the line. First one for Red. Oh, my gosh. We might mess around and lose this game. Please, Michael, make this one. Oh, my gosh. Michael Red shooting straight reds. No greens. Ball will go to Manu Ginobili. Spurs can win it with the three. Manu's going to go down. He'll spin. Oh, what a fake. He lays it up and in. I I'm sorry. I know we're not rooting for San Antonio, but come on. That was tough. Tie ball game in overtime. 1.3 seconds left. Thomas will give it into Cazell. Way downtown and it's off. Double OT. All right, let's simcast the start of this second OT. Oh, it looks like we got a decent lead here with 49 seconds left. This one might be over with. Thomas will give it to LeBron. LeBron gives it over to Cassell. Cassell is getting double. James is wide open. Three is up and it's off. Okay, just don't let San Antonio hit a three. Ginobili with the rock. He walks it back to the three-point line. Now he's going downhill. He gets fouled. That's the last thing you want to do. Let the Spurs score with the clock stopped. First one is good. Second one for Ginobili is off. Okay, looks like we're going to be fine here. It's a two-possession game. Only 30 seconds left. And we win this one. Tim Duncan, 43 and 19. Tony, 31 and 12. Rip with 28. Michael Red had 30 in this one. LeBron had 28. Ray Allen, 27. Curry didn't get too many minutes, but he had 16 points in 19 minutes. That's not bad at all. And now this series is headed to a game seven. And it's looking like we're going to complete this comeback. We were down three to one. And in game seven, it's not even close. A 49-point dub as Wemby has a triple-double. Curry has 23 in 23 minutes. And LeBron James, you know, 16 points. But he was efficient with it. Wemby Nyama was the star of the show for sure. And already in year one, we're champions. Wemby is named your finals MVP. Headed into season number two, Wembenyama is up to a ridiculous 94 overall. LeBron's up to an 88, Curry up to an 87. And this year, we're going to get to see our trio in the starting five together. And what's crazy is we're coming off a championship and we just got way better. I think this squad is going back to back for sure. They still want Bron off the bench? No. 
I'm going to slide LeBron over to the four. His overall goes down, but that way he can start next to Michael Red. We're not having Tim Thomas in the starting five this year with all due respect. And real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. I know you're tired of YouTubers asking you to subscribe, but they wouldn't do it if it didn't work. I'm trying to hit 100K, so I'd really appreciate it if y'all subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to, though, it's cool. Oh, Mama Wembenyama. Victor wins MVP, averaging 20-13-4 and four with two steals and three blocks. Wemby also wins DPOY, doing Wembenyama-type things. George Carl, coach of the year again, as we won 67 games. No LeBron or Curry on all NBA. I kind of expected them to make it since they're starters now. Curry averaged 17 and 8. Not bad. Still waiting for Wardell to really hit his stride, though. LeBron averaged 17, 7, and 6. I guess nobody's really going to put up astronomical numbers considering all the talent we have on the team. In round one of the playoffs, we'll be taking on the Toronto Raptors. Golly, their front court is terrible. We beat them in five. Next up, it'll be the Heat. Yeah, man, they're not beating us. We sweep them. Conference finals. It's Orlando. They picked up Chris Kamen. Do they really think that's going to be enough to stop us? We sweep them. NBA finals. We got the Clippers, and we know the Clippers. They don't win rings. They got a duo of Agent Zero and Elton Brand. That's a nice little pick and roll. Unfortunately, you've ran into the greatest franchise ever. They get a win, but it's a gentleman sweep. Two chips in a row, and this one was way easier than the first one. Wembenyama just on a different level in the NBA playoffs. How about Steph? Oh, man, only 15 a game playing like Steph McFlurry. LeBron James, 14 a game. LeGon James and Steph McFlurry are going to need to step it up. Or maybe they don't need to because Wembenyama seems to have their backs. Headed into year three, we lost Michael Red. He was a key piece for the team, a good young player. And since he's gone, I'm going to move LeBron back to his natural position, the small forward spot. That'll make LeBron a 92 overall. Wembenyama is up to a 96. Curry up to a 91. So the entire big three is 90 plus and we've still got Ray and Tim Thomas. Even without Michael Red, I think we've got a great chance to three-peat. Well, it seems like we didn't have any problems in the regular season without Michael Red because Wembenyama just continues to improve, averaging 23, 13, and 5 this season. Duncan wins DPOY over Victor, though. And George Carl, another coach of the year. We won 68 games. We've been in the high 60s in terms of wins pretty much every season of this video. There goes LeBron finally making his way onto All-NBA. He played a lot better without Michael Red next to him on the wing. He averaged 23, 8, and 7. And there's Steph Curry as well, 24 and 9 on the year. Maybe Michael Red leaving just opened up the door for these guys because everybody elevated their play in this third season. Round one of the playoffs, we got Toronto. I'm not even looking at their roster with all due respect. We beat them in five. Round two, it'll be the Chicago Bulls, and we might have a series here. It's 2-2 two to two after four games. Why in the world is it 2-2 two to two after four games? Y'all better go out and win this game five. Don't tell me they're going to lose this one, bro. There we go. We get the game five dub. It was a blowout, too. LeBron had a triple-double. Curry was scoring. Wemby was scoring. One more win. We'll be in the conference finals, and boom, we make it there. Next up, it'll be the Magic with T-Mac, Mike Miller, Chris Kamen. They keep getting better every year, unfortunately. I still don't think they're good enough. I'm sorry, Tracy. We're up two to one. Okay, it's a 2-2 series. I underestimated T-Mac and the Magic. We're going to jump in the Simcats here for game five. Oh my gosh, we're putting points on the board. We beat them by like... 152 points. Wembenyama 46 and 18. Curry 27 and 13. LeBron 17 and 12. You also had Sam Cassell and Ray out there scoring. One more win, and we'll be in our third straight finals. All that Wembenyama, LeBron, and Curry even know at this point in their careers is winning. But they're really going to be put to the test as we're headed to a Game 7 against the red-hot Tracy McGrady. 45 points in Game 6. Here we go. Trip to the finals on the line. Game 7. Magic come out hot. They come out swinging. We're trying to bounce back, but we ran out of gas. A three-peat is very difficult in the NBA. 
even with an elite trio like this. Wembenyama just fell short in this one and we end up losing and the Magic go on to win the NBA title. I tip my cap to Tracy McGrady. He was playing great basketball against us and while our big three did their thing, we just weren't able to get it done this year. Maybe we did need Michael Red. Over the off season, we see Wemby go up to a 97, Braun up to a 95, Curry up to a 93, and Ray up to an 87. Nice. In NBA 2K25, Wembenyama is going to be overpowered. Because just look at how well he plays in these simulations. And I feel like they're going to update him, give him more badges, better tendencies. Bro, Wemby's going to dominate. He's already dominating. You see the numbers he's putting up. He wins MVP and DPOY this year. We also see LeBron on second team, averaging 22, 9, and 7 on the year. Steph Curry, no All-NBA this season. And we won 61 games. We were second. Second to the Magic, T-Mac, out there doing his thing. Round one of the playoffs, we'll be taking on New York. Who is Clay Farrell? He might be like an auto-generated dude. Wow, yeah, he's an auto-generated player who's really been making a name for himself, putting up great numbers for the Knicks. He was drafted the same year as LeBron was and Curry and Wembenyama. But sorry, bro. I don't think you're going to be able to win this one. We beat them in six. Round two, it'll be the Nets. We sweep them. And here we go. Another battle with Orlando. Time to get our revenge on the Magic for beating us last year. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. There we go. Oh, they win game five. Come on, just close it out in six. We do close it out in six. NBA Finals, we got the Suns with Michael Red, our former player. Game one of the series, we'll go to Phoenix. How did Michael Red play? 19, not bad at all. Game two, we'll go to us. It's a blowout too. There we go. Dude, did you see that Wemby stat line? 23, 16, and 14. Looking like Wemby Yama Paul with the passing. 14 assists. And we win game three as well. Michael red tried his best in this one we also win game four and we're out of there in five we get back to winning here in year four as Wembenyama carries in the finals averaging 29 12 and 7 with four blocks Steph Curry only 17 points in the playoffs about 10 assists he was efficient I guess he was just looking to get his teammates involved as for LeBron James, pretty similar numbers to the regular season, but Wembenyama is really the star of the show here in this video. Just check out the resume, four seasons in, already three MVPs. He also has three DPOYs, I believe, three titles, and he's won finals MVP every single time we've won the championship. Is Wemby going to hit 99? He's up to a 98. Curry goes up to a 94. Braun up to a 96. And we're looking to win ring number four, headed into season number five. Wembenyama, business as usual, another MVP. He also wins DPOY. There's Steph on second team. See, this is what I was expecting from Steph. 24 and 11 on the year wait where's lebron no all nba he made all defense no all nba with these numbers oh dang we won 64 games we're looking for another title round one we'll be taking on atlanta we sweep them round two it'll be the wizards we beat them in five conference finals we got the nets and we sweep them that was an easy trip to the finals where we'll be taking on the blazers they've got a nice pick and roll going here with chris paul and dwight howard Game number one of the series will go to us. We win game two as well. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a run through the playoffs. And Steph wins finals MVP. Steph was showing the world what he could do when the lights get brightest. 27 and 12 in the postseason. Wembenyama didn't play as well. LeBron stepped it up. So now we're really starting to see LeBron and Curry do their thing. And we went 16 and 1 in these playoffs. Elite stuff from the guys. But last time we won two championships in a row, we couldn't complete the three-peat. Now we've got a chance at redemption here. And with the team looking so incredible, I think we can do it. We're nearing the end of the season and we've got a chance to break the wins record here. We currently only have seven losses. If we went 75 and 7, okay, well, maybe 74 and 8. That would still be, okay, how, how about 73 and 9? Okay, 72 and 10 is cool too. We'll tie the Bulls. 2K had to troll me. LeBron wins MVP this year. The best year of his career by far as he averaged 27, 9, and 9 with two steals, two blocks. And LeBron gets his hands on a DPOY. Good stuff, Bron. 
Wemby's on first team with James. Wembenyama is now a 99 overall. Great googly moogly. I'm sorry. Second team, you had Steph Curry. He averaged 26 and 11. 72 wins. We should be able to easily win a championship. I'm pressing sim playoffs. I'll only stop if things get close here. Oh, we're cooking. Never mind. We're not cooking. We're going seven with the magic. Tracy McGrady comes back to haunt us once again. Lock in, guys. Oh my gosh. T Mac might be our kryptonite never mind we get the w we had a huge fourth outscoring the magic 46 to 18 lebron 31 points curry 27 and 13 steph has been incredible the past couple years which is great to see as a curry fan and when Yama, not playing as well as he was the first few seasons nba finals it's another battle with the blazers aren't you all tired of losing to us by now we're up three to zero we sweep them lebron finals mvp he might be the best player on the team right now when Binyama's taking a step back honestly curry might be playing better than Wemby too and there's a three-peat for the squad by the way we have only lost once in the nba playoffs well one series we've obviously lost more than one game but yeah we've only ever lost one playoff series throughout the entire time with our big three five championships in six seasons absolutely historical from the guys and now we're going for a four-peat. That would be crazy. LeBron James wins MVP. He averaged 24, 9, and 9 on the year. Another DPOY for James as well. And he's on first team with our big man, Victor Wembanyama. There's Steph Curry on second team, doing the Steph Curry thing, putting up a lot of points, and also getting his teammates involved. Round one of the playoffs, we'll be taking on the Washington Wizards. Why am I even looking at their roster? Let's be honest, it's probably going to be pretty easy, at least until the conference finals. Yeah, there you go. We're in the conference finals, and it's T-Mac again, bro. Oh my goodness, our number one rival throughout this video. But this time, we sweep T-Mac in the magic. Oh, the Blazers. Well, here comes another Blazers beatdown. We're up two to one. We're up three to one. They'll win game five. We got this in six, though. No, we don't. Don't let Portland come back from 3-1, please. We're trying to complete this four-peat. Okay, we're all good. We close it out in seven. Wembenyama, 32-10-6. He was good in the playoffs for us. Steph was great in the playoffs for us. LeBron, not a great game, but his teammates had his back. And Wemby wins another finals MVP. Six championships in seven seasons. Solidifying this trio as the greatest trio of all time, right? Maybe not just yet. Yeah, actually, probably. Let me know in the comments if there's a trio I'm forgetting. Okay, yeah, this is the best trio. I mean, just... Just off sheer talent and now they're winning together too they're winning so much no way there's a better trio than this let's jump into another season we're going for a five p five in a row would be insane i mean four in a row is already insane lebron 28 10 and 9 on the year wins an mvp and the dpoy he's got that dpoy on lock Steph Curry on first team this year. He averaged 26 and 11. Wembenyama moves down to second team, I guess, because LeBron and Curry were doing so much of the scoring. We won 69 games on the year, another elite regular season. And in round one, we got the Hawks. We beat them in six. Round two, it'll be the Heat. Beat them in five. And in the conference finals, we beat the Raptors. NBA finals, we got the Blazers. It was close last time against them, so we definitely got to take them serious here. We're down 2-0. We'll win game three. We lose game four. We might be cooked. We'll take game five. Come on, 3-1 comeback. Yeah, there you go. We're going seven. A 3-1 comeback would be legendary. And it looks like we're going to complete it. Steph Curry is on the right side of a 3-1 comeback this time. And that's another championship for the big three. LeBron is named finals MVP. And that is our seventh title in eight seasons. Five championships in a row. Well, let's try and get this six, Pete. That doesn't even sound like a real thing to say. Six titles in a row is ridiculous. Now, it is important to note that Ray Allen is 36 years old. He's been a core player for this team, and he could be retiring on us or regressing soon. So keep that in mind. LeBron MVP, Kyrie, Rookie of the Year for the Mavs. LeBron wins DPOY. George Carl, Coach of the Year. There's LeBron on first team with Wembenyama. There's Steph here on second team. He averaged 23 and 10. And we won 65 games. Another great regular season for the team. Round one, we got New York. 
Oh, they had that one point guard from the 03 draft. We sweep them. Round two, it'll be the magic. Oh my gosh, we lost. Bro, it all happened so fast. We lost by 100 in game seven. It had to be the magic. T-Mac, man. Okay, so game one, they won. We won game two, though, and three, and four. We blew a 3-1. Our insane championship streak has come to an end. And it had to be Tracy McGrady. It really did. He's been the only guy who could really stop this team. Coming off that disappointing loss, we got to get back on top and win another championship. Bucks players just taking turns winning MVPs. Here goes Wembenyama with one. He averaged 22, 13, and 7. Bronze had the MVP on lock for quite some time, but Wemby had to go get one. LeBron wins DPOY. He's really had this award on lock. And we only won 54 games. George Carl was named coach of the year. No all NBA for Steph. What happened, Curry? 23 and 9. I mean, that's still really good. Not even all NBA third with those numbers is crazy. And we were the number one seed in the East. Round one, we'll be taking on the Bobcats. We're cooked. We just lost to the Bobcats. Got smacked in game seven. D Rose. Oh my gosh, he's a 97. Danny Granger hooping. We got to get back to winning. That's really all this team has ever known. It's like DJ Khaled. All we do is win and now we're not winning Steph these numbers just aren't good putting up Ty Lawson numbers in the playoffs we need you to be better this summer I'm expecting Ray Allen to go down and overall as well combine that with the fact that we've lost two seasons in a row we might be cooked Ray only goes down one shout out to Unk he's still been holding it down 38 years old 87 overall that's elite Brian gets his hands on another MVP Josh Smith J Smooth won the DPOI over Bron. Also, Bron has five MVPs. That's pretty crazy. There's Wemby on first team with LeBron. Yo, Steph, you gotta step it up, bro. Third team? Or maybe the voters gotta step it up because his numbers look good to me. We won 61 games, a lot better than last year. Round one, uh-oh. It's Orlando and they still got Tracy McGrady. Bro, T-Mac is him. We're down 3-1. Okay, we win game five and six. There we go. Let's get our ultimate revenge against T-Mac by coming back from down 3-1. We got the lead. Okay, we're going to get the dub here. There you go, Steph. 39 and 11. That's what I'm talking about. Round two, we got the Celtics. This is a cool Celtics team. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. Get them out of here. Conference finals, Bobcats. We lost to this team. This is the squad with D-Rose. Yep. Game one will go to us. We also win game two and three. Okay. Okay. We're so back. NBA finals. We got Denver with the Brody Chester Williams. Dwight Howard. Okay. Russ and Dwight is crazy. Game one will go to us. We win game two as well. We're up 3-0. They'll get a win. Two wins. Uh-oh. We got to close this out in six. We can't blow a 3-0 lead, especially after what's happened the last two playoffs. We've been very disappointing. All right, it looks like we will get the dub here. We win the series in six. Shout out to Ray, 24 points. And he's retiring on us. He wanted one more ring. Braun wins finals MVP. And how many championships is that? Is that eight now? Eight titles, dude. I mean, it makes sense why. We have such an elite trio. Plus, you had Ray Allen in the mix. Of course, we're going to win. But now, we're going to be put to the test without Ray Allen. Oh my gosh, the supporting cast is cooked. Our fourth best player is Capazzo at a 75 overall. Curry, Braun, Wemby, lock in. James Harden gets his hands on an MVP. It's been Wemby and LeBron every year for a long time, but there goes Harden into White wins DPOY. LeBron was first team, so was Wembenyama. Steph was on third team, despite averaging 26 and 9. He upped his scoring in the absence of some of the talent on our team, and we still won 56 games. No Ray Allen, no real supporting cast at all, but we were able to do our thing. Wait, we did get Anthony Randolph on a minimum contract. He came in, gave us 12 and 7. That's great. Round one, we'll be taking on the Nets, and we beat him in five. Five. Round two, it'll be Toronto, and we're down 3-1. Why were we even down 3-1 to this team? This team is trash. Also, can we talk about the fact that 3-1 comebacks happen way too often in 2K? Well, it's not about to happen this time. We're going to lose to a team led by Ricky Rubio and DeAndre Jordan when we have LeBron, Steph, and Wembenyama. Are you kidding me? And the Spurs win the title. Tim Duncan's got to be 100 now. 
I shouldn't be getting this mad when we already have eight championships. But, bro, why are we losing to the Raptors, man? That team was just not good. And the supporting cast is still awful. But don't worry, Christian Wood is here to save the day. This is what I like to see, Wemby. We've been struggling, and he comes out and plays at an incredible level. The best we've ever seen. 29-13-6 and six from our big man. And Braun was out there hooping, both on first team. Braun won DPOY. Curry, Curry, bro. Step it up. No All-NBA. Now, we did win 65 games this year. As we picked up George Hill on a minimum, that's huge. He's an 85 overall. Round one of the playoffs, we got New York. We beat him in six. Round two, it'll be Boston. And we're going seven with the Cs. They've got PG and Kevin Love. I'll never forget that Paul George NBA 2K17 loading screen. I played so much 2K17, and probably half the time I spent on that game was staring at that screen. We are going to win here in game seven. Wardell, 37 Oh my gosh, Wembenyama, 24, 12, and 10. And then LeBron had 22, 9, and 11. Big three clicking on all cylinders as we, oh my gosh, are going to be taking on the Sixers. The Philadelphia Warriors with Clay and Draymond. Plus, they've got Bees, Mike Conley, and Boogie. This team might be better than ours. Game one will go to them. We win game two. They take game three and four. We'll win game five, but they close us out in six. Yeah. I, that team was just so good. I don't even know how they put that whole squad together. The bench was crazy too, bro. Wow. They've got a squad. Shout out to them. They go on to win the championship. DeMarcus Cousins wins the ring. We love to see that. Teams around the league are putting together squads to try and stop us. And clearly it's working. But I still think we can get a couple more rings before these guys retire. I mean, we're headed into year 14. We should still see like six, seven more seasons from the guys. If we could get up to like 10 championships, that'd be really nice. We're already at eight rings right now. We just need two more. That's not too crazy to ask, I don't think. LeBron James with an MVP and a DPOY. Wembenyama makes second team. Whoa, that was a crazy drop off right there. He went from averaging almost 30 to averaging about 20. Steph Curry is on third team. We're the number one seed headed into the playoffs. We won 62 games. Round one, it'll be Toronto. We beat them in six. Not Philly. Okay, they lost Mike Conley. Now they got Johnny Flynn. That should make things a little bit easier. We'll win game one and two. Oh, we're up 3-0. We sweep them. Conference finals, it's the Nets. Yeah, I think they're about to lose. We sweep them. NBA finals, it'll be the Grizz. We've got a chance to win ring number nine, but it isn't going to be easy. This is a very well-rounded team, reminiscent of the Sixers last year. You've got John Wall, Iggy, Chris Middleton, Giannis, and Powell. But we will win game one. They'll take game two. We win game three and four. One more win and we'll be champions. That's ring number nine. Victor Wembenyama, finals MVP. Steph turned it up. Playoff Steph was great. LeBron solid in the postseason. Wembenyama turned it up for the postseason as well. There we go. Now let's see if we can go for our second ring in a row. Maybe get a streak of championships going like we had earlier in the video. LeBron James, MVP. Steph Curry was on second team this year. He averaged 27 and 10. What happened to Wemby though? 20 and 9. No all NBA for him at a 99 overall. Well, we were still the second seed, 55 wins. Round one, we got the Raptors with Kobe. And we sweep them. Round two, it'll be the Celtics. We beat them in five. Conference finals, we got Philly. Oh, great. They've loaded up on more talent. But we're still up 3-1 on them. They'll win game five and six. Okay. Game seven coming up. Trip to the finals on the line. We're looking to repeat this year. But we can't do that if we blow a 3-1. Thank goodness we didn't blow the 3-1. LeBron, 38. Curry, 25-4-10. and 10. Wimbenyama, 23-11. and 11. And in the finals, we got Utah. That front court is crazy. Bosh and Jokic. You've got Iggy, Jared Jack, TJ Warren. Solid squad for sure. Game one will go to us. We win game two as well. Oh, wow. They win a game, but we beat them in five. Steph Curry 
with the finals MVP. There you go, Steph. Second finals MVP of the video, and that is ring number 10. We just repeated. You know what that means. We're going for the three-peat. LeBron goes up to a 99 at 33 years old. Team pretty much looks the same. We don't have a great supporting cast. We're kind of just relying on the big three to do their thing. We get it, LeBron. You're good at basketball. MVP and DPOY as usual. Steph Curry makes second team. Wembenyama back on all NBA, making the third team this time. And we won 59 games, making us the number one seed. Round one, we make easy work of the Washington Wizards. Round two, we do the same to the Pistons. Since next it'll be the Celtics. We're up three to two. Just let us get out of here in six. Thank you. NBA Finals. It's Utah again. They have Ben Simmons at point guard. They were the seven seed. This team's way too good to be the seven seed. We'll win game one and two. They'll take game three and four. Okay. Game five coming up. We're on a quest for a three-peat here. And a game five win would be very helpful for sure. And we are going to get the dub by 11 points. LeBron, 37. Curry, 26 and 15. One more. And we will be 11 time champions with this trio. But the Jazz win game six. So we're going seven here. The two best words in sports game seven. And we won. Steph Curry, 32 and 10. LeBron, a triple double. Bron wins finals MVP. That is championship number 11. When we were losing for a couple years there, I thought, oh, this is the end of our run. We're not going to win any more titles. But the guys have showed that they definitely had some more left in the tank. Three championships in a row. Now we're going for a four-peat. But the team is getting older, so that's a little concerning. Definitely is going to make things a little more challenging as we look to go for another title. Okay, what's up with Wembenyama? Some years he's like, just all right. I mean, these numbers are elite. Don't get me wrong. You know, the 18, 19, 17, 18. These numbers are cool. But bro, then he just decides, all right, I'm going to go into overdrive. Goes out and wins MVP. Also, Braun wins DPOY here. Both Wemby and LeBron on first team. Curry took a major step back this year as he did not make all NBA despite putting up good numbers. We won 66 games, made us the number one seed, 12 game win streak to close out the year. Let's go get four in a row. Round one, it'll be the Knicks and we're not gonna get four in a row because we lost to the eight seed. I don't understand. I feel like stuff like this happens way too often in 2K where you're losing to these low seeded teams. And also the fact that this team is garbage makes me angry. Like how are we losing to Blake Griffin and an old Dwayne Wade when we have LeBron, Wembenyama, and Steph Curry, man. I can't complain too much, though. We have been winning a lot in this video. But our opportunities to win more are starting to dwindle as we're headed into season number 18. Wembenyama's regressing a little, and I'm sure the regression will be coming soon for Steph and LeBron. There goes Vic with another MVP. LeBron James wins DPOY. LeBron and Vic on first team. No all NBA for our guy Steph this year, but we did win 60 games. We're looking to get back to winning championships. Man, Steph had a bit of a down year this year, averaging 20 and 7, but I guess that's to be expected as he is in season number 18. In round one, we got the Wizards. We beat them in five. Round two, it'll be the Celtics. We sweep them. Conference finals, we got the Pacers, and we beat them in six. Just like that, we're back in the finals, taking on the Utah Jazz. We've had our fair share of battles with this team, and I got to give them their props. This team is very well put together, and they'll win game one. We take game two, though, and three. There we go. We're up 3-1. They'll take game five and six. Don't blow the 3-1. Not in the finals, man. That's never a good look. Okay, well, we completely ran out of gas in game seven. Lost by 47 points. No way you're letting Tomas Sadoransky score more points than you, Victor. Yeah, we just didn't have it this year, I guess. We were so close, too. Up 3-1. Looked like we had the finals in the bag. But we did not have the finals in the bag, now did we? Oh, man. Steph down to a 92. Wemby down to a 95. Braun down to a 97. We're headed into year 19. 
Anthony Davis getting his hands on an MVP. It's not often you see a player who isn't on our team winning the award. LeBron goes out and wins another DPOY. He's on first team with Wembenyama. Steph Curry, though, no All-NBA. He averaged 21-7 and seven as we won 55 games. Let's jump into these playoffs, see if we can get back to winning titles. Round one, it'll be the Raptors. And we lost. I think we were up 3-0, too. Yeah, we won game one. Oh, we lost game two. Okay. We were up 3-1, which is still bad. Yeah, man. The team's just old. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. Also, speaking of old, all of our guys are headed into year number 20, which is crazy. Season is wrapped. What? Ben Simmons wins MVP. Yeah, it's about time we end off this video as LeBron wins DPOY. LeBron made second team. Wemby and Curry, no All-NBA. And speaking of Wemby... He's ready to retire. After 20 years pro, this season will be his last. And yeah, the numbers are dropping off. Curry played pretty well this year. And we're in the playoffs three seed. Let's see if we can win one last title. Round one, we'll be taking on the Wizards. And we win. Okay, round two, it'll be the Raptors. We beat them. Conference finals, we sweep the Pacers. NBA finals, it'll be Utah. This team has beat us way too much. We gotta win. It's a 1-1 series. We're up 2-1. We're up 3-1. The storybook ending one last title for the guys. As Wembenyama calls it a career, he won 12 chips, 8 MVPs, 5 finals MVPs, made 20 all-star teams, 14 all-NBA first teams, and 3 all-NBA second teams. In addition to that, he won 4 Defensive Player of the Year awards. As for LeBron James, he won 12 chips, 8 MVPs, 5 finals MVPs, made 19 All-Star teams, 14 All-NBA first teams, and 3 All-NBA second teams. He also won 12 DPOYs. And then Steph, he won 12 rings, 2 finals MVPs, made 18 All-Star teams, 1 All-NBA first teams, 6 All-NBA second teams, and 4 All-NBA third teams. Last thing I want to do is check out the record books. LeBron finished 4th all-time in scoring, Curry was 6th, Wemby was 7th. LeBron was 8th in field goals made, Wemby was 11th, Curry was 12th. Curry was 1st in threes made, Wemby was 11th, and LeBron was 8th. LeBron was 9th in free throws made, Wemby was 12th. Wemby was 4th in rebounds. Steph was 3rd in assists. LeBron was 6th. Wemby was 3rd in blocks. LeBron was 14th. Curry was 5th in steals. Wemby was 8th. Oh, and LeBron was 2nd. Wemby was 4th in minutes. LeBron was 5th. And Curry was 7th. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.